Uh, I am Jalal Dabik from Palestine. Um, I want to talk about uh, the site effect. My, the title of my presentation is Assessment of Site Effect, Seismic Site Effect for Rawabi, First Palestinian Planned City. Um, here, it's very important to know, I want to start my presentation as introduction. Uh, the risk, as we know, is not equal with the hazard. Sometimes, as you need this equation, if you have the hazard is very high, the vulnerability sometimes is low, and the capacity is high, it means the risk is low. Uh, in many countries, especially in the developing countries, even the hazard is low or moderate, and the vulnerability is high, due to the uh, seismic vulnerability of buildings and low capacity, it means the risk could be, could be high. Uh, so the disaster risk reduction philosophy, this is as introduction, is how decrease the risk, how we can decrease the risk. This is the, the title and of the, the disaster risk reduction of our global uh, platform for disaster risk reduction here. We need first, first to visualize the hazard, then going to reduce the vulnerability, second to increase the capacity. Concerning the site effect, as we know now as introduction, the site effect represents an interaction between the hazard and vulnerability. If we are talking about the site represents some of the building, a part of the building. Here, it's something it's complicated for engineers, it's complicated equation, but this is the simplifying. Uh, going to site effect very quickly as an introduction. Here the problem is not with the building. The problem here is with the site. How you can avoid, avoid uh, the site effect according to the land use policy and land use planning. Site effect is good to, to avoid it, not to face with it. Other side effect, faulting system. If you build your house here, you need to avoid the side effect. Second, uh, the side effect, the amplification. Here, uh, you can, uh, here are the building, the same buildings have been destroyed. The problem is not with the building, with the structural element. The problem is here with uh, side effect, so the amplification of side effect. Other uh, examples, and la uh, landslides. Even the line slides. Sometimes, if you want to to avoid the line slides, is uh, the good way. For after this introduction, the Rawabi city. For we try to avoid the side effect for Rawabi city. Uh, in my presentation here, first of all, we started with location. This is the location of Rawabi city. is 30 kilometers from Tel Aviv. Uh, 28 kilometers from uh, Jerusalem. And this is the site of the Rawabi city, it's the mountains. Here we expect to a site effect, seismic, uh, seismic uh, factor, uh, uh, the amplification of seismic forces or landslides. Let's go, this is uh, the phase one. Um, as you know, this is the scope. Uh, to provide the engineer, the engineers the required data for the design to mitigate the seismic risk. Second, the problem statement going to Palestine and adjacent area have been affected with uh, several earthquakes in the history. We found it. Uh, after that, preparing the macro seismic scale map BGA. And uh, starting with geophysical, geophysical seismic study site effect, local geology cavities, a lot of uh, engineering and important data for design. Uh, this is the, uh, the faulting system in Palestine and adjacent area. Uh, trying to avoid this, uh, these faults uh, as, as example. Uh, for geophysical studies, we selected uh, seismic lines, several seismic lines as you see here, and we started to take the soil profile, soil profile in the site, this is examples, this is example of site profile we obtain 
the layers of the uh, two layers, first, second, and third, and to know the shear velocity for each layer. This is another example. Then putting all the, all the sides in tables and obtaining the uh, primary uh, 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 earthquake uh, shear wave velocity and the thickness of each layer. Then after that, for each, as you see here, for all the signs, excuse me, for all the uh, lines, uh, this is examples after we excavated the area, we discovered, we compared our results. Uh, this is the layer, in this layer we obtain uh, uh, different results in this area. And we propose special for planners this conclusion for second part. Okay, uh, we classify the soil, we obtain that the shear wave velocity in the site according to uh, international building code, uniform building code. We classify it according to the uh, site and according to the thickness. Then we prepared for engineers uh, the classification of uh, soil profile. We obtained that with SB and SC according to uh, International Building Code and Uniform Building Code, Arab Building Code, or Jordanian Building Code. After we obtained this data, going and to the microzonation map. We put it in the microzonation, very detailed microzonation map for each part of the city. We put in the shear wave velocity and the natural period of the site and so on. Going to uh, third part of seismic amplification to know uh, if the site will amplify the seismic forces or not. Uh, here is an example. Here is, uh, is in, in uh, Mexico City. It's the uh, time history or earthquake forces. You can see it here the effect of it on clay and in the bedrock. We did the same in Nablus city in Palestine in the valley to, to, to find the seismic amplification. We obtain here uh, in Nablus city, that one area we, we obtain uh, seismic uh, forces will be increased around 10 times. Going to Rawabi city, we did the same according to Nakamura techniques using the micro trimmers measurement by using SDA program and site spec for analysis and uh, data acquisition. We selected the sites and having that uh, micro trimmer measurements, micro trimmer measurements for the selected sites. After that, we obtained uh, risk spectra analysis. As you see here, we are talking about 10 times. We expected in few areas to have uh, the seismic forces will be increased 10 times, uh, putting all, all the results according to the site in the list to obtain the site, uh, um, uh, amplification factor, natural period of the site, and natural period of the building. And it's better uh, that this TS and TB to be not to close, to be uh, the value not to be close or equal to avoid the resonance of the building. So putting this equation according to the International Building Code and Uniform Building Code, we calculated the natural barrier of the proposed building. And uh, to help the engineers, we put these data for the site uh, in the table, special tables. OK, where is, I think he, OK. For each site, we put here uh, the dominant natural frequency, dominant natural frequency for each site. And uh, proposing here solution, how to cut the uh, first layer to avoid the resonance. And taking into consideration the calculation of natural period of proposed building have been done according to international building code, uniform building code, and regional codes. So, this is the microzonation map for, size, uh, for uh, uh, shear wave velocity, side effect, and others. Uh, going to for, uh, last, uh, the land sliding, landslides, which is very important in the mountains area, as you see here. Our uh, region, our, our area, West Bank, is mountain area. It's very important to avoid the landslides, so we need the microzonation map for landslides. 
here, that's an example of the mounting and the area which we have. Uh, examples of landslides which, we, uh, which have been occurred in our area without earthquakes. Uh, going, uh, this is another example from the world which happened in another country. And now uh, we started using GeoStudio program, selecting, as you see, different sections, important critical sections in the, our area, in the mountains, according to the slope, according to the nature of the site, according to the weight of the buildings. These selected area for slope stability analysis, we check it. We took more than 30 or 40 critical sections. This is another section. Calculating for all the critical sections, the safety factor, safety factor, and putting in the table, we obtain that most of the area uh, has uh, the safety factor is good, is more than minimum. And uh, the area which we have the safety factor is less than minimum. We put a special uh, requirement for engineers uh, here, as you see, recommendation how to avoid the landslides in uh, uh, the area in, uh, in the critical area which we expect to have this phenomena. Finally, Thank you very much for your attention. This is uh, our website, www.najah.edu. For more details, please, you can uh, contact, you can, uh, this is a university, but we have scientific center. You can select the scientific centers. From the scientific center, you can select earthquake engineering center. Thank you very much. You've got two minutes for questions. Okay, yeah, yes. Four questions, if you, okay. Yeah, first of all, thank you for this uh, sparking conversation with this uh, side effect where these buildings yeah. are very falling. I just ask a question about this and building code and seismic hazard mapping. Yeah. You have this seismic hazard mapping and, f you know, for the... The map, yes. Macrosonation for the return period of four, four, 475 years. Y yeah. How you take this acceleration to put into the code? Do you take the same one or you take according to the zones you take a percentage of that? Uh, according to the zone, uh, it's macro zonation map. Uh, this city located in zone 2B. It's two, uh, according to the time history, uh, with the area B BGA, it's the BGA map, according to the BGA map in the area. This is my, but after that, we try to check the micro zonation map. Our aim was how to, to have or to implement the micro zonation map, detailed map to taking the site effect. BGA, we obtain it according to the national map and regional map, BGA map, uh, to uh, zone 2B, uh, 2B. Then the site effect to observe that the soil profile which we obtained is uh, between SB and SC. The seismic amplification TS, uh, as you saw uh, here, it's between 05 and 1. And we tried to avoid to have a recommendation for uh, the engineers how to, to avoid the resonance to study the relation between the natural frequency of the building and the natural frequency of the site. This will continue. Thank you. Other question? Okay. Thank you.